we, we had phenomenal speakers. Um, and to quote, you know, I've talked to Kurt since the event, and he said, you know, that was one of the best events I've been to post-COVID or pre-COVID, um, that these events, it's normally – sell, sell, you're being pitched to constantly, and that, that wasn't the case with this event, and it was very apparent to the attendees, and it was very apparent to speakers like Kurt as well. So he was one of those speakers, and part of our criteria that we came up with was there would be no selling from the stage. This was our way to give back to attendees. This was our way to enrich them, and then there were plenty of booths, right? There were another 15 or 16 booths that were set up where you could go and engage with some of the mm -hmm. speakers and some of the other sponsors, but there was none of that from the stage. This really was about talking to those nearly 100 attendees and uh, helping them understand the impact of what great culture could be for their office, what great culture could mean for their organization. Uh, and I'm so glad that not only did the attendees sense that and get that, but also the speakers. 